What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Cam ATL and welcome back to another player prop video with your boy. Drop a like down below because I already know you're gonna love it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Comment anything in the comment section. Enter your name into the $50 giveaway. I do every single week on this channel. As always, thank y'all for joining me. We are at PropsMadeEasy.com. Only $20 a month for the amazing tools that you see on the screen right now. Uh, another successful day yesterday on the Taco Tuesday slip over on the WAP community page as well. As you know, the Props Made Easy team posts some optimal picks over on the WAP community page as well as having a chat community and all that good stuff. If you're trying to just get better at using the tools or trying to get better at betting in general, you can always talk among other people or ask our team questions over there. Um, it's a great way to just get involved and, you know, a chat and just be better, learn get better do all the good stuff so anyway if you haven't joined the WAP community page it's only ten dollars to join our WAP community page you can find that link down in uh, I'll pin the comment down in the comment section so go down there and you'll see the link for that if you haven't joined the props made easy tools you are tripping by now I mean twenty dollars a month these things are absolutely deadly uh, let's go ahead and get straight into today's video for NFL we have Kyler Murray under 238.5 passing yards at a minus 3.08 sportsbook differential other sportsbooks have this at a 235, player projections at 228, a minus 9.8. So the under on Kyler Murray's 238.5 passing yards. Jared Goff under 274.5 passing yards at a minus 2.92. Other sportsbooks have this at a 271.5, player projections 265, a minus 9.5. Travis Kelsey under 51.5 receiving yards. We have the under. At minus 2.91 sportsbook differential, 48.59 is his average sportsbook line. Player projections at 48.4, a minus 3.1. Ramondre Stevenson for Thursday night football, under 68.5 rushing yards at a minus 2.2. Other sportsbooks are on average around 66. Player projections also around 66, a minus 1.6 projection. So like the under on Ramondre Stevenson. Najee Harris, under 55.5 rushing yards at a minus 1.68. Sportsbook differential, other sportsbooks have this at 53.8. Player projections at 54.7, a minus 0 0.8 projection differential. So not only, like I said, as I've always said, why this tool is so deadly and for only $20 is just a game changer is because it shows you plays that are not only EV, but also have projection data on the same side of that line. So not only the data that the sportsbooks are using to set the lines in the first place that we're taking advantage of, but we also add more projection data just to make sure. Um, and that's why it's so crazy. Derrick Henry, under 68.5 rushing yards at a minus 1.55 sportsbook differential. Sportsbook line of 66.9. Player projection of 66.5 on minus 2 projection differential. C.J. Stroud, over 260.5 passing yards at a 1.5 sportsbook differential. Sportsbook line of 262. Player projection of 263.6 or 3.1 projection differential. Jacoby Brissett on Thursday night football, over 11.5 rushing yards at a 1.43 sportsbook differential, 12.93 sportsbook line, player projection of 13.3, a 1.8. All right, so a lot of solid options. If we just look at Thursday night football on the 19th tomorrow, you will see Ramondre Stevenson under 68.5 rushing yards at a minus 2.2. Jacoby Brissett over 11.5 rushing yards of 1.43. Austin Hooper over 9.5 receiving yards is a 0 0.82. Um, nothing too, too crazy as of right this moment on prize picks. Look at no line difference. You will see that we have Baker Mayfield's over 1.5 passing touchdowns at a 53.43% chance to hit. Really like this play. Minus 140.5 consensus odds. So when you take all the sports books, they're at minus 140 odds on the over on this play right here. Baker Mayfield over 1.5 passing touchdowns is a great option this weekend. James Cook, under 0 0.5 touchdowns at a 53.07% chance to hit at a minus 138. All right, so make sure you're checking the no line difference as well so you can make sure you're, you've got some of the best options over there as well. All right. With that being said, let's check goblins. The absolute best goblin on the board is Dak Prescott's over 224.5 passing yards of 33.13 sportsbook differential. Projection of 259.8, a 35.3 projection differential. So crazy crazy differentials there um on Dak Prescott so he's my favorite to pair up with somebody if you want to you know make a slip and take little risk and just double up with a with a goblin play all right 
Looking at all sports books overall, sleeper is where the best value is right now. You have a Ramadre Stevenson play under 71.5 rushing yards at a minus 5.2 over on sleeper. J.K. Dobbins under 57.5 rushing yards at a minus 4.76 over on sleeper. Ramadre Stevenson again under on his 90.5 rushing plus receiving at minus 4.22. Dak Prescott under 261.5 passing yards over on hot streak at minus 3.87. Um, more sleeper, Ramondre Stevenson under 69.5 rushing yards at minus 3.2 um, for hot streak over there as well. So, again, just incredibly easy to find the best plays in a sport. So let's move on to college football. Looking at college football as of right now, we have Luke Altmeyer under 201.5 passing yards at a minus 6.3. Ashton Daniels under 219.5 passing yards at a minus 4.57. Kyle McCord, under 290.5 passing yards at a minus 4.57. Where's the overs? A lot of undervalue right now for college football. First over you have is Nikos, over 290.5 passing yards. Passing plus rushing of 2.21. A lot of the best value are unders, man. They're setting these lines a little bit too high on these guys. Joey Aguilar, under 300.5 passing yards at a minus 4.18. Travis Hunter, under 99.5 receiving yards at a minus 3.5. Allen Bowman under 266.5 passing yards at a minus 2.88. Remember, on these tools, we are taking advantage of all of the hours and money that they're putting in on these sports books to set these lines as accurately as they can. We're taking all of these sports books' expertise and we're putting them into one line and then comparing them to the fantasy book that we're choosing, whether it be prize picks, underdog, better, hot streak, any of these other things to find the best value on that site. It's that simple, that easy. On the main sports, you have projection data just topping that, just making that data even better by adding a little more of, a little more to it, plain and simple. So, again, it's so easy to do. A goblin play, you have Javante Barnes over 24.5 rushing yards at a 17.17 over on college football as well will be the best goblin option that we have on the board. All right. Moving on to MLB, we have Randall Grichuk, under 2.5 hits runs RBIs of a 52.45% chance to hit. Minus 135 PME consensus on the under. Gets as high as minus 140 over on, that's bet MGM. Uh, player projection of 1.85, a minus 0.65 projection differential. So I like the under on Randall Grichuk, even though they are in cores. Freddie Peralta is going to be your best goblin, over 3.5 hits allowed at a 57% chance to hit. Hayden Birdsong over 2.5 hits allowed at a 56% chance to hit. Again, as I always say, don't be scared to pair a goblin with something. If there's not a ton of value on the board, don't be scared to pair a high-probability goblin up with another play if it's a fantastic option, but you only have one of them. Double your money. The name of the game is profit. It's that simple, and that's what Props Made Easy does is wants to help the average player who is trying to become better, who has a job, family, kids, just other things to do, who can't study all day, makes things incredibly simple for y'all, okay? Not only finding the plays when it comes to regular plays, but the best goblin plays even. You feel what I'm saying? So take advantage. When looking at all sports books, the best plays for today are going to be over on Fliff, Ben Rortvet, whatever you have, you say his name, over 0 0.5 hits runs RBIs at 59.5% chance. Freddie Peralta under 6.5 Ks at a 55%. Um, Freddie Peralta over here on Fliff as well, under 6.5 Ks at a 55%. Spencer Schwallenbach, under 5.5 hits allowed at a 54%. So you've got multiple, multiple options on the board right now. MLB first inning, nothing too crazy. Rangers, Toronto Blue Jays, under first inning runs, to total runs of 0 0.5 at a 51.86. MLB Fantasy pops in closer to the game's beginning. Nothing for any of this at the moment. Moving on. Okay. Now, we got some big differentials for soccer. Declan Rice, over 46.5 passing attempts at a four sportsbook differential on the over. Manuel, over 74.5 passing attempts at a three sportsbook differential. William Saliba, over 62.5 passing attempts at a three. William Pacho, under 81.5 at a minus three. Hawken over 49.5 passing attempts at a two. Amazing, amazing options. And to reiterate again, when it comes to finding the best value on the sportsbook differential sports, I always go with 1.5 or higher. 1.5 is kind of my minimum, so I'm not going to go down, especially when I got fours, threes, and stuff, go down here and play these ones or 0.5s. 
there's no point to me. You've already got these great values. Why, why force in a one? You feel what I'm saying? All right, moving on to Call of Duty, nothing there. League of Legends, nothing. CS2, we have X5G7V, over 27 first two map kills at a 1.5. Xanter, under 32 first two map kills at a minus 1.5. Binox, under 31 kills at a minus 1.5. Mary, under 27 kills at a minus 1.5. Stinix, under 31 at a minus 1.5. Um, all would be your best bets right there. All right. Now, when we look at all sports books, they're all 1.5s anywhere you go. So you don't get any better value anywhere else. All right. Last but not least, looking at Valorant, you have some ones. BCJ over 28 at a one. Um, Koala Noob under 36 at a minus one. Tin Tinchoff under 25.5 at a minus one. All solid options, but not 1.5. So, honestly, you've got better options on the board overall if you're trying to just force a slip in for today. All right? Anyway, that's about it. Thank you all for joining me as always. And as always, man, join Props Made Easy. It's only $20 a month. You can join the WAP community page as well for only 10 So, for, for the Props Made Easy tools and then the WAP chat and optimal slips from the team, it's only 10 over there. So, $30 total you get the Props Made Easy tools, having the best plays at your fingertips at all times. You have community chat, and you have optimal slips being posted from the Props Made Easy tool, about one to two of them. We're not a capper. We're not going to post 20 different slips every day. You shouldn't be doing that anyway. <laughs> Plain is you should not be forcing things anyway and going too crazy. There's never that much value to have 20 slips in it. You feel what I'm saying? There's never is. If you have 20 slips in there, then you've got a bunch of dumb shit mixed in there. All right? Thank you all for joining me as always, man. Grab. The WAP community page down below for only $10 a month. Make sure you're subscribed to the tools at Props Made Easy. $30 total is all you need in this industry for these, for anything. To have success, that's all you need. Another amazing week two last week. We're looking for a big week three. Let's get it. I'm out.